Connected. Connected. You've got a podcast. 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 Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Mystic Access Podcast. I'm Chris. I'm Kim. And I'm Lisa. We have quite a few announcements to share with you today, in addition to a couple of fun demos, so we definitely hope you will enjoy today's episode. First and foremost, we have a couple of very timely things to share. One thing is timely, because it's happening later this week, so we want to make sure you know about it right away, because it's going to be a very, very popular something that we're offering. The other event, or group of events, is timely, because we've actually changed around some dates. So we want to make sure that you are aware of what's going on in Mystic Access Land so that you're not inconvenienced by some changes that have occurred. So we want to share all this with you in hopes that you can join and enjoy the upcoming goodies happening in MA Land. So the first thing that we want to share is happening later this week. In fact, by the time you hear this, it will be very, very close. And this is our free March event. Every month we have a free event, for those of you who are new to the podcast, and March's event is going to be extremely popular, because it is somewhat of an offshoot of what we discussed last podcast, which was the Braille Note Touch by Humanware. We are going to have a class, and it is going to involve all things Braille Note Touch. So we're going to tell you more about the touch, we're going to share how it differs from its big brother, the original Braille Note Touch. We are going to share with you a lot of what it can do, the differences and similarities in the first generation, and we're essentially going to put this thing through its paces. Now, unlike in the last podcast, where you get to hear from me for (laughs) quite a few minutes, this time you get a new guest voice to the class. And we'll have Peter Tusick, who is Hewenware's Ambassador of Blindness Products, and he's going to be joining us for the class. So we're really excited. We met with Peter just recently and had a conversation. So we have kind of laid out the class. We know what we're going to do. And we think you guys are going to be really thrilled because Peter's just fun and he's laid back and he's just really thorough in the information that he shares. And like me, he's really excited about the changes in this incarnation of the Braille Note Touch we're really excited. It'll essentially be, as one of my colleagues just said a few moments ago, the Kim and Peter show. But that's okay, because I think we have a lot that we can share with you. And of course, we want to answer your questions. Now, we know that this is going to be a very popular class, and you need to know that we can only fit 100 people in the class. So we encourage you, if you want to come, get there early. So class begins at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, March 28th. So you need to make sure that you're there at least five or ten minutes in advance. We're going to be there early ourselves to make sure that everything's good. We are having a slight change in class protocol with this one. And because we know it's going to be such a huge class, we're going to mute you guys on entry for this class. So normally we'll have some discussion in advance. This time we're not. We'll save the primary discussion until after the Q&A part of class. So you will be muted when you come in. Just know that it's just because we know this is going to be a hugely popular class. This is also a public class. Normally we will only give these class details to our events list. This time we're spreading it far and wide. So if you want to come, you know your friends want to come, Share the information. We're going to put it on our news page. It's there by the time you're listening to this. And by the time you've listened to this, we've also been sharing it with our newsletter and our events lists. By all means, spread the word. Share it with your friends if you know they are interested in learning about this great new human wear device. As Kim just alluded to a little bit ago, the other thing that is changing is our iOS modules. Some of these are rather research-intensive topics. And so to give ourselves more time so that we can bring you the best possible information, 
we have decided to push them back. So they will be the 2nd, 9th, 16th, and 23rd in May, and then the first two weeks in June. And that will get everyone done with them before the summer holidays and the summer convention season commences in earnest. These are more in depth, but I'm really enjoying researching and learning. And I hope to bring you the information in a way that is kind of simplified. That's sort of the beauty, I think, of any of these modules is that I've done the research and the troubleshooting so that at least to some extent, you don't have to. Yeah, we're very sorry we had to move these back. We've had some circumstances come up. And as Lisa said, it also helps because we have more time to engage with this material. And Lisa can really give you guys a very deep dive into some of this material. So there were a few things that forced us to move these back, but we know that they will be worth the wait for you. So if you signed up for something and now you're seeing different dates on our website, That is true. (laughs) Everything was in April and May, and now it's in May and June. So no worries. Everything's good. If this has inconvenienced you, if you have signed up for something and now you're thinking, oh, man, I'm not going to be able to be there live, we're really, really sorry about that. Please know that, as always, everything is recorded for your use, and we will be sending it out for your reference very quickly after each module has happened. We talked a moment ago about our March free class, and I want to back up for a second and mention our February free class. In February, we did a class called We Are the Music Makers, and it was about various streaming music services. One of the things that we proposed in that class, and the download is available at mysticaccess.com slash free dash downloads, and you'll find it there in our events category of downloads. We mentioned the possibility of holding a more deep dive into several of these music services. So, for instance, SiriusXM, Palm Radio, Pandora, TuneIn, Apple Music. Some of the services, perhaps like Radio Art, that don't get as much love, and perhaps even share some new ones. We had discussed and proposed to the class members the possibility of holding a several-week series of classes on some of these services. So in these classes, we would talk more about them, we would answer your specific questions, and we would provide lots of demos for you to see how they work on various platforms. So as you guys know, even though one platform may be more prominent, we want to share these services with you on multiple platforms so you can see what they're like. So we may share something on iOS and Android, or iOS and PC, or whatever the case may be, or Android and PC, whatever. This is something that we had talked about, but we need to make sure that the interest is there. If you would like to check out the free download, get an idea of what we did, and there were no demos in this class. We just talked about them. There would be demos in a paid series of classes, and we're thinking about $39. We're not thinking this is going to be like a $50, $60 class, but it would be at least probably three weeks of material for you. And as you guys know, we always try to over-deliver on any paid material that we offer you. So if you are interested in a music services class on streaming music services and learning more of their ins and outs, we would be happy to do that for you. We need to make sure the interest is there. So would you please do us a favor? Send us an email at info at mysticaccess.com. That's M-Y-S-T-I-C-A-C-C-E-S-S dot com. Info at mysticaccess.com. And just put something like music services class in your subject line. And let us know that you would be interested in a paid series of classes on this. Now, remember that you don't have to be there live. So any scheduling that happens, don't feel like you're obligated to show up. We would be, of course, as with all of our classes, providing recordings to anyone who registers. So we've gotten quite a bit of interest. We need to get a little bit more before we go into formulating something like this. So please let us know if you're interested. Just send us an email at info at mysticaccess.com and let us know that you would be interested in such a series of classes and we will let you know on a future podcast whether or not these are happening. Most likely we would set this up for a pre-order. You could specify your interest that way and then we would offer that to you on an upcoming date, probably relatively soon in the future. So we wanted to mention that. 
And of course, if you emailed us after our last class about your interest, you wouldn't need to do that again. We're just still maintaining Correct. and adding to a potential list just to gauge interest. This doesn't commit you to anything. Definitely. But we just want to make sure the interest is there. These classes do take a lot of planning and preparation, and we pre-record everything. So we just need to make sure that the interest is there before we create something like this. We have a product spotlight to bring you about a device that we've been using and enjoying over the last little while. And Barry is here to talk about it. This is one of our collaborative products. And this is something that I have looked for and fought long and hard for. I have taken calls from some of you and you'll say, I need to find something I can use with my iPhone or my Android with Bluetooth. And we have some lovely high quality headsets. And I think, okay, we're going that direction. And you say, and I need to put it in my purse or I need to put it in my pocket. And I think, okay, we're not going that direction. And we've been looking for something that has good quality and is small. And we have found it. And it is a Plantronics earpiece. As with many of our items, not all, like our bone conduction and the iWalk, they are sort of sole source products. You can't just order those wherever. These you can, so you can purchase the tutorial separately. But if you like, you're welcome to order from us as well. And we will ship you the earpiece with the tutorial on an SD card. And it comes in one nice, neat package. And you have it all together. And you can get started and learn how to use it. It's not really that difficult at all. But when I put the tutorial together, we just kind of demystified the process of this is how you turn it on. This is how you adjust the volume. This is how you mute it. You can use it with or without the Plantronics app. So we go through those options as well. But now we bring you Barry and to a smaller extent, the three of us to tell you more about this earpiece. Welcome to the Mystic Access Magic Castle. On a personal level, I'm very excited about today's gadget. Barry is back with us to talk about a Bluetooth earpiece. Now let me give you a little bit of background before I turn it over to Barry. First of all, this is a single earpiece. So we're talking mono, not stereo. And I sort of have this love affair with mono Bluetooth earpieces because I'm often on the phone, either talking or listening to lectures or conference calls, or I'm listening to audiobooks. So I don't need stereo quality. Of course, I could use bone conduction headphones as well. But prior to that, I was using a lot of Bluetooth earpiece kind of things so that my one ear is free. I like these because they're small and they're portable. The one thing that for me was the gold standard of Bluetooth earpieces is, did they have a mute button? If I'm just listening on a conference call, I like to be able to put clothes away or chop vegetables or whatever without that background noise. And I find that muting on the iPhone, while it is doable, it's cumbersome. You have to hit two or three different keys. And if the speakers on the call are loud, you can't really hear well to hit those keys. And then if it is sort of a thing where people are participating on some level, and someone says, Lisa, what do you think? It would mean that it would take a minute or so for me to unmute, at which point they've started saying, Lisa, Lisa, are you there? Oh, I guess she hung up, you know. So that never really worked well for me. But I have had wonderful success with Plantronics. Now, the thing about Plantronics is sometimes they are a little more expensive than other earpieces on the market. About a year and a half ago, I found this lovely little earpiece. It was inexpensive, it sounded pretty good, and it had a mute button. And I thought, oh, this might really work for Mystic Access. And it would have, except that 
when you actually muted, every seven seconds it would say mute on and it would not just say mute on over the speaker it would completely cut off the speaker and inform you that mute was on which sort of defeated the purpose of having a mute button and being able to hear your call barry has a model of bluetooth earpiece that he has been selling for some time so now that i've kind of shared my own experiences and preferences. Let's let Barry talk a little bit more about this nifty little device. I have a love affair with Bluetooth single ear pieces too, Lisa. <laughs> I've been selling them for almost five years and we had a wonderful one and I don't even remember we sold a lot of them. I like the fact that again, you could be doing listening to traffic while you're walking and you know, we're reading or doing whatever doing while you know that if you need your earpiece, it's there. But unfortunately, here's what happened. About two years ago, when iPhone technology, for example, started advancing, iOS versions stopped working reversibly with previous versions of these single ear pieces. Mm -hmm. And it got so difficult that I literally had someone almost in tears call me in 2016 from Boston, a friend of ours, who said, I need a single ear piece. I still need one. There's nothing that works. I'll take anything wired. I don't care what I got to pay for it. Just get me something so that I can do my mobility stuff. And we did have to really go out and find a single wired ear piece as sort of the transition thing, which we have still carried and stuff. But again, most people want Bluetooth now and it's, you know, with the, no more tangle and all that stuff. So I like Plantronics because when you pick it up, it's well built. You've got an ear hook with something that looks like the size of a thumb hanging down from it. And that's yeah. sort of how I describe this Plantronics unit. And the beauty it's very of it, lightweight. It doesn't it, pull. Yeah. There's a couple of things about it. One is it's reversible for either ear. So you just flip the hook around and you see how it goes on. The second thing that immediately, and I have used other Plantronics before, what I really like about this one is if you want to get it more comfortable, you can really move this one around without affecting the microphone quality. So if you want to twist it one way to get a little bit closer, there's an earbud piece on it. So you have this hook and then you have this two inch piece of sort of a plastic little almost tube hanging down. The controls are the on off is on one edge. The mute, talk, everything button is in the middle, and then there are volume control buttons on the side. And it's just really well made, and it's really easy to get at the controls, and it is compatible with all of our current technologies that are out there, whereas certain previous Plantronics products are not. It is a little bit more expensive, and we, we had to sort of deal with this, and this is unlike many of the sort of the, the headphone products, you really cannot wholesale this in large quantity batches. In other words, I, I, I can get it a little bit better than the marketplace. Plantronics is not an organization that needs to deeply discount their products from retail. So you run into, it's a fairly expensive uh, single earpiece variant, but it really works. It has, it's talk time when it is fully charged is seven hours. The voice, it's a female voice and it's pleasing and you get the information from audio prompts that you need. It's sort of like something you want in a toolbox to be, you know, if you're looking for things, what do I need to carry my cables? I need a, this is the kind of thing you can say, yep, it's good. It's reliable. I love the fact that Mystic is doing this tutorial because it's really going to enhance the value of this product. I've already learned things from them as they were starting to work with this product that I didn't know, and I've been using it over a year. We are GuideLights, www.guidelightsandgadgets.us. And I want to note for people who have sort of looked at us before that we were a .com site up until about a year ago. And the .com site says that the domain is for sale, and that may be true, but that doesn't mean the company is. We have switched to the U.S. platform. So I want to highlight that. And then two other ways to sort of work with this. On our website, there is a contact form which you can use, which emails me or Kay, depending on whether you want gadget products or doggy products. The other way is to call or email either of us directly, and I'm going to give both sets of contact info. Uh, for me, it is, and the, the last name again, Eloquence does not like my name. It hasn't <laughs> liked it for 10 years. 
It's Barry, B-A-R-Y. The last name is S-C-H-E-U-R. The email is B as in boy, Scheuer, my last name, at Scheuer.com. We've actually had our own domain since 1994. And so that's bshoyer at com, And for K, for the dog products, it's K-R-A-U-S-C-H, her last name, Rausch, also at com. If you're interested in discussing gadget products, and I get a lot of calls from people to figure out if something is right for them. And that's part of the way we think about the the business itself. What's going to work for you? Do we have something that can work for you? And that's sort of how we think. The contact for me is 617-969-7500. I will say that my cell is not always quickly available to me. And so it may be a few hours, even during normal business. We're not, again, we're in retirement. So this is not full time. It's when I'm doing other stuff that I get finished and then look at the cell phone. So you may call and not find me during the day, but I will return the call within 24 hours. Kay is probably better at this than I am. And her number is 781 286 1696. Thank you for your visit to the Mystic Access Magic Castle. You're welcome anytime. And a final note on this, please note that the tutorial that Lisa did for it is about half an hour of information. So you do get a really thorough tour of the M180 and the Plantronics app. So you really get an idea of the things it can do and the various ways in which you can use it. As Lisa alluded to earlier, it's a small, compact little piece of equipment, so you can take it anywhere. Yeah, it's about the size of your average thumb drive. Now, actually, you can get thumb drives that aren't much bigger than your fingernail. But think the average thumb drive of a couple years ago. It's small enough to be nice and portable, but not so small that you're going to be afraid that you're going to lose it. Also, just know that when we do tutorials on speakers and things, we really enjoy playing various kinds of music through them so that you can get an idea of what that process is like. Because this is an earpiece, we really could not do that. But there was enough information regarding using the app or not using the app, and we felt like it would still make a quality and informative tutorial. Definitely. So if you're familiar with one of our Braille display tutorials, for instance, like Orbit or Vario or BrailleMe, then you'll get an idea that we can certainly provide a very descriptive selection of information while not actually showing you what it sounds like. <laughs> because those Pro displays don't have any sound. So it's the same kind of thing with this. Before we go on to some what I think are really fun and informative demos, we also want to briefly shine the spotlight into our gently used electronics category. These are items that we have used, tested, whatever, and maybe no longer have need of, and so we are passing them along to you. I have listed an item there. I have a new tap wearable keyboard for sale. It is a small one. On average, it will fit a woman's hand or a small to medium man's hand. If you have larger hands, it may not work for you, but you can check the TAP website for specifications. I really like this keyboard, but I don't need the second one. So I want to pass this along to a good home. I have opened it enough to make sure that it powers on and then I powered it back off. It has all its original pieces and the box. And so I'm looking to find that a good home. So if you are interested, please check that out. There's a link to the show notes. And maybe you will find that this is something that you would like to add to your toolbox. It does work with iPhone, Android, and I believe other platforms as well. And I did a demo of it back in a previous podcast. There will also be a link to that in the podcast show notes if you want to revisit that information. Speaking of keyboard shortcuts, we have a couple of really fun A-L-E-X-A skills that we would love to show you that will help you with just that. 
Launch Keyboard Shortcuts. Welcome to Keyboard Shortcuts. Interesting shortcuts are waiting for you ahead. Tell me a shortcut. Here's your shortcut. You can maximize all your window by Windows plus Shift plus M in Windows. I didn't know that. Neither did I. I didn't either. That's cool. That's an especially relevant one for us. Sometimes I'll find that things aren't working as I would like them to and as they usually do. And as a totally blind person, the last thing I think of is the fact that it could be acting weirdly because the screen is minimized. So that's a cool one. We can also get to this skill much more quickly by saying... Ask keyboard shortcuts for a shortcut. Here's your shortcut. You can rotate your screen rotation by Control plus Alt plus any arrow keys in Windows. We might not want to try that one. <laughs> no, anybody who's used table commands has accidentally also probably rotated their screen. Ask keyboard shortcuts for a shortcut. Here's your shortcut. You can cycle through all open applications by Windows plus Tab in Windows and Command plus Tab in Mac. So the other real cool thing about this one, of course, is that it gives you your Mac equivalent when that's available. Let's try one more. Launch Keyboard Shortcuts. Welcome to Keyboard Shortcuts. Interesting shortcuts are waiting for you ahead. Tell me a shortcut. Here's your shortcut. You can cycle through browser tabs by Control plus Page Up or Page Down in Windows and Command plus Shift plus Arrow in Safari and Command plus Opt plus Arrow keys in Chrome or Firefox. So that gives you a lot of pretty juicy information right there. So we have one more handy little skill that's kind of along these same lines that we wanted to show you as well. Launch Computer Shortcuts. Here's your fact. Control plus and create a new or blank document in some software, or open a new tab in most internet browsers. Excellent. Launch computer shortcuts. Here's your fact. Alt plus enter open the properties for the selected item, file, folder, shortcut, etc. So that's kind of cool. One more skill that we're going to show is another one, and it is Alaska. Launch unofficial word shortcuts. I found a few matches. Do you mean unofficial word shortcuts? FIFA World Cup or FIFA World Cup Master? Unofficial word shortcuts. Welcome to unofficial word shortcuts. You can ask a question like, what is the shortcut to save? Now, what can I help you with? What is the shortcut to bold? The shortcut to bold is Control plus B. I can tell you right now, this is going to be my new best friend. I mean, in words, sometimes it's like, press Alt plus F plus T plus G plus H plus I. And it's like, ugh, there's no way I'm ever going to remember all that. The one thing we can't get her to do <laughs> is to tell you how to double or single space. <laughs> there's a few that we've had like that that she's not sharing as we would expect. But for the most part, this is a really handy little tool. Watch this. Launch... Unofficial Word Shortcuts. Welcome to Unofficial Word Shortcuts. You can ask a question like, what is the shortcut to save? Now, what can I help you with? How do I increase the font size? The shortcut to increase the font size is Control plus Shift plus greater than. So there you go. That's one of those unused or slightly used keyboard shortcuts that a lot of people don't know. Yeah, I always forget that one. This is not really a demo, but I have an echo tip. And this actually comes to us courtesy of Chris's genius, thankfully. In a recent podcast, I talked about using two third generation echoes to create a stereo pair. And this works beautifully for music. But sometimes when you're trying to do something with spoken audio, like ask what the weather is, you'll have them both talk and one of them is on a delay and it just gets really weird. Or this is a situation I had where I would say set a 10 minute timer and then I would realize that I could cancel that timer and I would say cancel my timer and it would say there's no timer set. 
and that was a little jarring. And then I realized, oh, the other one probably grabbed that command. So I'd have to repeat set or cancel timer a few times. So the thing that has made the difference is to set up the echoes as a stereo pair like I detailed before. And again, we'll link back in the show notes if that's something that interests you. But then you turn off the always listening feature of one. So you basically have only one of them listening and not two of them listening and trying to grab the attention. But then when you have content that can be played in stereo, when you have that benefit, they work together beautifully and seamlessly. So thanks to Chris for that little sanity saving suggestion. Speaking of echoes, we do have a few second generation echo dots listed on Mystic Access and each of those will come with our how long is it now anyone eight hours almost something like that echo tutorial <laughs> on it so we are excited to have these available for you now please note that you cannot you do a stereo pair with a second generation echo dot unfortunately however even though they don't really sound as nice as the third generation echo dot they're really nice for podcasts listening for listening to talk radio for reading your books things like that and of course you can plug them into something else if you want to listen to really high fidelity music so you can plug it into a speaker with an auxiliary jack makes a great little kitchen timer it does make a great little kitchen timer or an alarm clock bedside alarm clock heck yeah, yeah absolutely there are a lot of fun put things one in you can her do workout with it. she has like a dedicated workout room nice she likes her music coming straight through her ears from her phone but she uses that as a timer absolutely you could pair it with a bluetooth headset you could plug actual wired headphones into it if you wanted to so there are all sorts of different ways that you can use a second gen dot. So we did want to let you know that if you are unfamiliar with our Epic Echo tutorial, and remember this is the newly revised one that we just did last year, so there is tons of new information in it, and you can get yourself a second gen dot paired with an Echo tutorial on the Mystic Access website. So we'd love to bring those to your attention and let you know that we do have a few left. Now we're going to get away from Echo and stuff like that. And I'm going to do an insert of the Dolphin Easy Reader app on iOS. This allows you to read books from different sources. However, you cannot read BARD or NLS books. You can read books from Bookshare and a whole slew of other different things. And one neat thing is you can use Dolphin Easy Reader to read our tutorials or listen to our tutorials uh, if you wanted to listen to them on an iPhone or an iPad or what have you. And it's a free product. This demo is coming as a direct result essentially of customer feedback. We've been getting a lot of calls lately with people saying, I don't have a computer. I want to be able to hear your tutorial on the iPhone. And my kind of go to recommendation has been voice dream reader and i still stand by that i love the app it's like the swiss army knife of apps it reads anything you throw at it whether that's audio or text or pdf or word or whatever it just reads it all but some people don't want the cost of a paid app or what they see as the complexity of it although we do have a tutorial that kind of demystifies all of that but this is a wonderful option and it's a free option Hello everybody, and I'm going to take you for a little walkthrough or demonstration of Dolphin Easy Reader. Dolphin Easy Reader is an app for iOS and Android devices that allows you to read books from multiple sources. For example, Bookshare or EPUB or Gutenberg. Just a bunch of different libraries that you can sign into if required or not if not required. And you can read your books. One question at Mystic Access that we get all the time is how do I download my tutorials from your website if I do not have a computer? I want to download them on my phone or my iPad or what have you so that I can be completely portable. There are two ways that you can do it that are very accessible. One is the popular voice stream reader package and that will allow you to read any kind of book that you can throw at it and even play mp3s. 
but that app has a cost to it. It's, I don't remember what it is at the time. You can check it out in the App Store if you were so inclined to do so. But Dolphin Easy Reader is completely 100% free. So you would search for Easy Reader in the App Store, and it is one word, and you can download it, install it. And when you install it, it wants you to create a Dolphin account. So you can create a Dolphin account that will do a few things. One major thing that was just released is the ability to synchronize your last known reading position across your devices. So if you have the same book on an iPhone, an iPad, an Android device, what have you, you can synchronize your reading position. So you can start your book on one place and continue on another place. It's very handy. I'm gonna do my demonstration on an iPhone 8 running the latest version of iOS and Dolphin Easy Reader. So I'm gonna be in Safari on my account and I'm going to download one of our tutorials. Safari, double tap to up. Safari, address, mystic access. So I'm going to flick around until I find the downloads link because I am actually in my account. It'll be within the dashboard. Payment methods, addresses, coupons, newsletters, downloads, visited. Double tap. Downloads, visited. Address, 11%. Double tap to show controls. Mystic access, secure and valid. Now I'm going to find the table using my three finger flick up until I get to my list of downloads. Page two of 41, page three of 40, page four of 41. Now I'm going to put my finger somewhere in the middle of the screen. Expires. Three. Downloads remaining. Audio tutorial for Alexa, the Amazon Echo, tap and dot created by Mystic Access. Now I'm going to find the zip file. Expires. Three. Downloads remaining. Audio tutorial for Alexa, the Amazon Echo, tap and dot created by Mystic Access. Product. Amazon Echo Daisy tutorial. Zip. And that's what I want. I want the Daisy version of the tutorial, and I'm going to double tap. Amazon Echo Daisy tutorial. Zip. And it is now downloading, and it may take a few minutes or a couple minutes, depending on your internet speed. Address, Mystic Access. Now I'm going to go towards the top of the screen where the address bar is. Address, Mystic Access. Flick to the right. Reload button. There's reload button. Amazon Echo Daisy tutorial, zip. There's the zip file. Zip archive, 173 megabytes. It's 173 megabytes. Open an Easy Reader button. And if Easy Reader was the last thing that you chose, it would say open an Easy Reader. If not, it would say open it whatever the last thing that you chose. Let's say that for illustration purposes, yours does not say open an Easy Reader. More button. So I'm going to double tap the more button. Address, Mystic Access, AirDrop Recipient, no one found yet, image. When an AirDrop Recipient is in range. Now I'm going to flick to the right until I get to Copy to Easy Reader. Airdrop, share, message, button, mail, button, add to notes, button, add to health, but outlook, button, copy to easy reader, button, double draggable. tap, du address, mystic access, easy reader, loading, rolling, side, ma Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, heading level one. So Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was the last book that I was reading. So I'm going to flick to the left. Book options, button, audio settings, button, text settings, bookmarks, button, search, button, side menu, button. Go to the side menu and double tap. Side menu, my books, button. Now it landed me on my books, which is actually what I want. So I'm going to double tap. Info large, button, book information. So now I'm going to flick to the left and see what I have. Search field, double tap to edit. So that's my search field. I'm going to flick to the right. Info large button. There's the book information. information for the book. Then I flick to the right. Amazon Echo Alexa audio tutorial. Mystic access. Info large button. There's book the info information. for the next book. So I'm going to flick back to the, let's say, book info. Mystic Amazon Echo info large button. 
Book information, Infolar, Amazon Echo, Alexa, audio tutorial. Now I'm going to flick to the right. Mystic access. Open button. There's open. Format. Daisy. Size. 176.90 megabytes. Size. 176.90 megabytes. I'm going to go back. Info large button. Book information. Amazon Echo. Alexa. Audio tutorial. If I double tap this, it should actually open the book and start playing. Or I could have opened the book from within the info button. Loading. Side menu. Welcome Play. to the Amazon Echo Audio Tutorial by Mystic Access, where the magic is in learning. So I just did a two-finger double tap to stop the playback of the book, and I'm going to flick to the right. Next button. There's next. Navigation settings button. Navigation settings button. So I must have been sitting on the play button magically. Next but Amazon Echo Alexa image. Book options button. Audio settings button. Text settings button. Bookmarks button. Search button. So some of this is self-explanatory, but let's take a look at Text settings and audio settings. Bookmarks button. Text settings button. Double tap. Text setting back button. There's Text really settings heading. Nothing interesting in this book because this is a strictly Daisy audio book, not a text book. Text size 130 percent. 130 percent adjustable. Font books default font. Font list books default font. Margins six percent. Six percent adjustable. Line spacing, 125%. 125% adjustable. Letter spacing, 0 point. 0 point adjustable. Color theme, no theme. Color theme list, no text color, black. So this is good for your low vision users. Background color. Sentence highlight color, yellow. Word highlight color, orange. Reset to default button. Reset to default button. And I'm going to back out of here. By menu button. Now I'm going to flick to the right. Search button, bookmarks button, text settings, but audio settings button, double tap audio, audio setting, settings, back button, audio settings, heading, audio speed, 100% adjustable. So you swipe can up or down with one finger to adjust the value, raise or lower the speech of the audio should you wish. 100% play sound on bookmark, play sound on bookmark, switch button on, play on navigation. Play on navigation, switch button, on. Double tap so to toggle setting. You can turn this on or off if you want. Basically what it'll do is when you go to the next or previous item, it'll start to play back. Rewind audio on book load. 20, text field. Switch button, on. So Double you, tap to toggle set. You can have the book automatically rewind, say the last 20 seconds or so, which is kind of neat. So if you put it down for an hour and you come back and you start it back up, it's kind of a little 20 second refresher of where you once were. Reset to default button. Reset to default button. And we have reset to defaults like we saw in the text settings window and I'm going to go back. Side menu button. So now I'm in the side menu. Search button, bookmarks button. Let's go to book navigation. Book navigation button. Double tap. Book navigate back button. Amazon Echo, Alexa, audio tutorial, level 1, 11s. Contact information, level 1, 42s. So these are all of the headings that are in the book and how long each heading is. So I can flick to the right. Introduction, level 1, 16 minutes, 31 seconds. So I can double tap this. Side menu. Button. Hello. Play. Thank you so much for purchasing this Mystic Access audio tutorial. The Mystic Access team wants me to tell you how much they appreciate your business. So I just did a two-finger double tap to stop playback. The image. Introduction. Three. Back to last reading position. But play. Play. So there's the play button. And I just touched somewhere near the bottom of the screen. I can flick to the right. Next button. There's next. So if I double tap next, it's going to go to the next item. My play. name is Alexa. Pause. I am an Amazon Echo product. Zoom. Zoom I am your lens. friendly and may I say power pack Next virtual button. assistant. Next. Thank you, Alexa, for that Pause. introduction. Play. Next button. 19% edge play. 
for that introduction. Pause. Hi everyone, Next welcome button. to this Mystic Access Amazon Echo Navigation audio settings. tutorial. Button. As Next. Alexa button. told you, I am your Next. doing this audio Next. tutorial. Button. I thought this is going to be... Next button. Navigation settings button. So I pause the speech again. I flick to the right and I've got navigation settings. Navigation settings button. Let's double tap that. 15 seconds selected. So when I was going previous and next, it was going 15 seconds. So I'm going to flick to the right. Two minutes. Five minutes. Book default. Heading. Heading one only. Heading one and two only. Heading one and two only. So if I switch this to heading one or two. 15 seconds. My previous and next are going to jump by both heading level one and heading level two. Let's see how this works. I'm going to pick one that I want to. Image. Introduct back to last reading position. Introduction back to last reading position. Go to back, back to last, last reading, reading position. position. One, four. Two, 18. 32 percent at one back to last reading position be a seriously overpriced streaming Pause. speaker i already have bluetooth speakers so now if i, I go have to the internet right. resources next. i have button. plenty of ways to before i explain next. Ex next so let's have a brief discussion next. now button. next let's learn a little more about alexa alexa next. tell me button. about yourself Pause. i'm amazon's previous. alexa button. designer previous so let's have a brief discussion now that you have done that about previous previous before i explain previous. exactly button. what the amazon echo so I just did a two finger double tap to stop the speech and I'm going to Zoom image go back to the navigation settings. Navigation settings. Heading one and two only selected. Heading one only. Let's set this to heading one. Fifteen seconds. Now I'm going to do a two finger double tap to start playback. Exactly what the Amazon Echo pause. is and some of now the things that the it can do for you. If you actually now have your Echo right. next, set up button. and work next. Echo orientation next and initial. Next. Becoming familiar with Echo.net. Next. Getting started speaking next. with Alexa. Button. The fun. Next. Alexa and getting next. help. Button. Before we move. Next. Using Alexa with next. weather button. and Pause. the news brief. Previous. One button. of the things. Previous. Alexa and Previous. getting. Previous. Getting started speaking Previous. with Alexa. Button. Previous. Becoming familiar with Echo.net. So as you can see, you can navigate by just heading level ones if you wish or a heading level two, or the 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and I can't remember what else was in there, but that's how that works. The navigation settings button determines how your previous and next buttons work. I'm gonna go back to my side menu, double tap. My books button. It landed me on my books, so I'm going to double tap my books. Info large button. Amazon Echo Alexa audio tutorial. It put me on the info button for the Amazon Echo tutorial. So I'm going to flick back to the left. Info large button. Book and Amazon Echo Alexa audio tutorial. Return book button. So I've got an option here that says return book. If I flick to the right. Amazon Echo Mystic Access. Open button. There's open. Progress. 54M44S. Format. Daisy. Size. 176.90. So let's say I'm not interested in reading my Amazon Echo tutorial or any book for that matter. I'm going to go back to return book. It doesn't say delete book. It says return book. Because remember, you're kind of in a library. So the terminology for a library would be you're going to return the book. You're going to put it on the bookshelf. You're not just going to tear it up in the library and throw it away because that just would not be nice to the book or nice to the library. Progress, open, Mystic Access, Amazon Echo, return book, button. So I'm going to double tap. Alert, remove book. Do you want to remove the book from the device? Yes, button. And I'm just flicking to the right and there's my yes button, so I'm going to double tap. Please wait. Info large, button. And it has book information. deleted my book. So I'm going to flick to the right. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter number one. And there's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So let's go in there for a second. Loading. Row side menu. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Heading level one. So now we're in the book. I want to go into audio settings because I want to show you something real quick. This notice. This accessible me notice. Rolling. K. J. And book options. Button. Audio settings. Button. Audio setting. Back button. Voice. Lee. Enhanced. English. Australia. So as you can see, 
it's a little different here because this is where you can select a voice because this is a text book. So I'm going to flick to the right. Voice settings button. Add voices button. Pronunciation. Default list. New pronunciation list button. Edit pronunciation list button. Remove pronunciation list dimmed button. Play on navigation. Play on navigation. Switch button off. Play sound on bookmark. Play sound on bookmark. Switch button on. Reset to default button. I can go back. Side menu button. And if I press play. Zero. Play. It's going to read in Lee's voice. Harry Potter and Pause. the Sorcerer's Stone. J.K. Rowling. Notice. This accessible media has been made available to people with bona fide disability. Two finger double tap to stop the speech. And we're going to go into book information. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Book options. Button. Book options, rather. Double tap. Alert. Book options. Sleep timer. Button. There's your sleep timer. Where am I? Button. There's where am I? Book information. Button. Book information. Cancel. Button. And cancel. So let's see what book information does. Book information. Button. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter number one. J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter has no idea how famous he is. That's because he's being raised by his miserable aunt and uncle who are terrified Harry will learn that he's really a wizard, just as his parents were. But everything changes when Harry is summoned to attend an infamous school for wizards, and he begins to discover some clues about his illustrious birthright. From the surprising way he is greeted by a lovable giant, to the unique curriculum and colorful faculty at his unusual school, Harry finds himself drawn deep inside a mystical world he never knew existed and closer to his own noble destiny. Side menu. This accessible media has been made available. And I just went back. I'm going to go back up to the side menu real Side quick. menu. Button. Side menu. My books. Button. There's my books. Manage libraries. There's manage libraries. You'd go in there to manage all of the libraries that you want to have access to or that you can log into, for example. There might be some that I want to turn on or off. So let's go there real quick. Side menu. But manage libraries. Heading. Bookshare. There's Double bookshare. tap to open the bookshare. Switch button. On. So Bookshare to toggle setting. is turned on. If I wanted to turn that off, I could. EPUB books. Double EPUB tap to open books. the library information. EPUB books. Switch button. On. Let's say I double don't. Double tap to toggle setting. I don't want to read the EPUB books. I can double tap this. And EPUB books should be off. EPUB books. EPUB books. EPUB books. Switch button. Off. It is. I'm going to double turn it Double tap to toggle. On. on. And now I'm going to go back to the side menu. Side menu button. Double tap. My books button. There's my books. Manage libraries. There's manage libraries. Bookshare. There's bookshare. EPUB books. EPUB. Project Gutenberg. My newspapers button. My clipboard text button. About and help button. My dolphin account button. Side menu button. My dolphin account about my clipboard. My newspaper. Project Gutenberg. EPUB books. Bookshare. So I'm going to go to Bookshare. Bookshare. Heading. And I can go to the right. Log out. Button. Search field. Double. My reading list. My history. Latest. Popular. Browse by category. So I'm going to go to latest books. Latest. Hindi Sahib you British F. Y. B. A. Book information. Button. Baratka Itihas C. Book information. Her Apple Curse of the Blood River. Vineet Badge Pi I. EPU. Book information. Changing Habits. Debbie McCumber. EPU. Book information. The Princess Next Door. Jackie Braun. EPU B. Book information. Season in Hell. My 130 Days in the Sahara with Al Qaeda. Robert Fowler. EPU B. Book information. How to Be a Patient. The Essential Guide to Navigating the World of Modern Medicine. Sonal Goldberg. EPU B. Book information. The Bookshop on the Corner. A Novel. Jenny Colvin. EPU B. Online. Let's see what this is. I'm going to go to the book information. Book information button. The bookshop on the corner. A novel. Jenny Colgan. Download button. Nina Redmond is a librarian with a gift for finding the perfect book for her readers. But can she write her own happy ever after? In this Valentine to readers, librarians, and book lovers the world over, the New York Times best-selling author of Little Beach Street Bakery returns with a funny, moving new novel for fans of Meg Donahue, Sophie Kinsella, and Nina George's The Little Paris Bookshop. Losing myself in Jenny Colgan's beautiful pages is the most delicious, comforting, satisfying treat I have had in ages. Jane Green, New York Times best-selling author of Summer Secret Back Button. The Body in the Casket. A Faith Fairchild Mystery, Faith Fairchild Mysteries number 24, Catherine Page, EPUB. 
Okay, Online. let's see what this is about. Book information. So I'm going to flick to the right. Double tap. Book the body in the casket. A Faith Fairchild mystery. Catherine Page. Download button. The inimitable Faith Fairchild returns in a chilling New England to do it, inspired by the best Agatha Christie mysteries and with hints of the timeless board game clue. For most of her adult life, resourceful caterer Faith Fairchild has called the sleepy Massachusetts village of Aylford home. While the native New Yorker has come to know the region well, she isn't familiar with Havencrest, a privileged enclave, until the owner of Rowan House, a secluded sprawling arts. And I just stopped that with a touch the screen with two fingers. Download, Catherine, download button. And I'm going to double tap the download because that sounds kind of cool. Abort download button. The body in the casket. A Faith Fairchild mystery. Faith Fairchild mysteries number 24. And the book is downloaded. So there's the name of the book. I'm going to either double tap that name or I can find the open button and double tap that. Catherine Hay, open button. Loading. Inside menu. So button. now it's loading the book and I should be able to find the play button. 0% adjustable play there it is double tap image pause notice side menu notice this accessible level media. one has been made available to people with bona fide disabilities that affect reading this notice tells you about restrictions on the use of this accessible media which could be a book a periodic and i just did a two finger double tap to silence the speech and I think I'm going to go read my book. Thank you, everybody, for coming with me on this little demonstration of Dolphin Easy Reader. It's a really nice app, and it's totally 100% free. Happy reading. Some of that demo may be slightly familiar to you because, as I mentioned in the last podcast, there is a version of Easy Reader called Easy Reader Plus available on the Braille Note Touch Plus you can access very similar features that way as well if you are a Braille Note Touch Plus user. So it's a very cool app. This version that Chris just shared is available for Android and iOS and it's free for download. And you can use Bookshare, NFB Newsline, all sorts of cool stuff and even more if you're outside the States. So there's a ton of information you can access. Gutenberg, there's all kinds of stuff. Any Daisy audio. Yeah, like any Daisy audio like our stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just can't do Bard. So that's a separate free app, guys. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for coming with us on this long ride for the podcast this time. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed putting it together. Take care, Yes, everybody. and we hope we will see you in class coming up for the Braille Note Touch class. Really looking forward to sharing it with you. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 The preceding podcast is a presentation of Mystic Access, where the magic is in learning. If you are blind or visually impaired and desire to discover how our comprehensive products and services may support and empower your assistive technology journey, we welcome your visit at www.mysticaccess.com. Have a question or wish to place an order via phone? Call us at 716-543-3323. If you have something to share about this podcast episode, press 4 to reach our Mystic Access podcast comment line. Email us at info at mysticaccess.com. Connect with us on Twitter at twitter.com slash mysticaccess and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash mysticaccessempower. Would you like to spread the word about our podcasts? Your friends and colleagues may listen and subscribe at www.mysticaccesspodcast.com. Our latest five episodes are also available via phone by calling 701-801-8527. If you enjoy our episodes, consider leaving us an iTunes rating and review. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks for spreading the word, and thanks for being a listener. We hope you enjoyed this episode.